I went up to the manager. I said, yeah, I got him by the collar. I said, here. Yeah. yeah? I said, here. Yeah. Threatened him, did you? You didn't spit sandwich at him, did you? Sorry, <laughs> Pete. Blimey. I'm sorry about that. No, I said, here. Yeah. yeah, he'll do it again if you're not careful. <laughs> I said, wait. <laughs> Come on, what do you say, Dad? I said, Where's that bloody Chinese flying horse in? What did he say? He said, get out. <laughs> so I had, to, I had to run up the impressionists for half an hour and I'd yeah. out. Yeah. You know, but, but what I can't understand, frankly, Pete, is that uh, there's not a Vernon Ward gallery in here. There's not a duck in the building. There's no Peter Scott. There's no Vernon Ward. Not a duck to be seen. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> no. I mean, the marvellous thing about Vernon Ward is, of course, he's been doing ducks all his life. Well, he's done more ducks than you've had hot breakfast down there. Vernon Ward, he's done plenty of ducks. If he's done anything, he's done ducks. Yeah. <laughs> he's done ducks in all positions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ducks in the morning. <laughs> ducks in the morning, ducks in the evening, ducks in the summertime. What's that song? They in the morning, morning ducks in the evening, ducks in the summertime. Yeah. I thought well, I recognised it. Of course you did, you said it. Yeah. Uh, you see what makes you know that Vernon Ward is a good painter? If you look at his ducks, have you ever looked at his ducks? Yeah. If you look at his ducks, you see the eyes follow you around the room. <laughs> Do you notice that? Yeah. If please. you see 16 of his ducks, you see 32 little eyes following you around the room. No, you only see 16. Because they're flying sideways and you can't see the other eye on the other side. No, but you get the impression, Dad, that the other eye is craning round the beat to look at you, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. That's a sign of a good painting, Dad. If the eyes follow you round the room, it's a good painting. If they don't, it isn't. Yeah, it's funny you say that, Pete, because I was in the bathroom the other day. Of course you were, Dad, oh. I remember that. Of course I was, Pete. <laughs> and uh, I had the feeling... I had the feeling of somebody in the room with me, you know. Yeah. I thought, funny, you know. <laughs> Bathroom door locked, you know, funny. Somebody in the room with me. Funny, funny you know. Yeah. Didn't see no one coming. I thought, funny. you know, felt these eyes burning in the back of my head. Funny, you know. <laughs> so, uh, I whip round like a flash. I see the bloody laughing cavalier up there. <laughs> having a giggle. I said, yeah, I felt so embarrassed, you know. You would, yeah. So I went out the bathroom and I went across to Mrs. Connolly's across the road and asked if I could use her toilet. Yeah. <laughs> Because, uh, you know, you feel a bit daft with uh, somebody looking at the back of you. Yeah. She's, she's all right, though, because she's only got a bowl of pansies in her toilet. Well, a real bowl of pansies or a painting, Dad? A uh, real painting, Pete. Oh, that's all yeah. right, then. I'll tell you what's even worse, Dad, than the Laughing Cavalier. What's that, Can Pete? you think of anything worse? No, There Pete. is something worse than the Laughing Cavalier, which my auntie Muriel has. She has the bloody Mona Lisa in her, no, in her really? toilet, yes. That's dreadful, yeah. that awful sniffy look about her, looking so superior, you know, <laughs> peering down at you. She looks as if she'd never been to the lab in the life. You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the thing about the laughing cavalier, at least he has a giggle, he doesn't he? 